Hi guys, I hope that you're having a fabulous day. Welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited for today's video as I will be doing a true unboxing on a bag from a brand that is new to my collection. However, this brand has been around for a little while and I am talking about Demelier. Now, full transparency because you know how I roll. The company reached out to me and asked if I would be interested in trying out one of their bags to see how I liked it. They did not request a video, an unboxing, a review, or anything along those lines. I am choosing to do this video. I am choosing to do this unboxing. That way, if you decide to buy something from the brand, you know exactly what to expect. And as always, you will get my honest opinion on anything that we discuss on my channel, whether the item was gifted or whether I purchased it myself. I even told them that I'm gonna be doing an unboxing and they said, right on, send us the link. And I personally love it when companies are that supportive of the transparency that is important to me and my channel. I think that speaks volumes. So I thought that was absolutely amazing. But any Anywho, as far as the brand goes, I had heard about them, I have seen reviews on YouTube, and I've always been really intrigued about the, some of the silhouettes that they offer, so I was like, heck yeah, I'm, to I'm totally game for this. Uh, now, they did provide me with a lookbook of items that I can choose from, and the first two options that I chose, unfortunately, they had since been sold out. So this was my third runner up, but I am still excited nonetheless. Now, before I get into the unboxing, I also wanted to share some information, some details on the brand, especially if you've never heard of them. So I pulled some literature off of their website, beginning with our story. So it says, Demillier was founded with the vision of doing things differently, to design handbags that would make women feel empowered, made ethically and sustainably, excuse me, while giving back to those who needed most. All of our pieces are crafted ethically in Spain or Italy using the finest sustainably sourced materials. And for every piece sold, Demillier funds vaccines and treatments aimed to save the life of a child in need. I also pulled uh, something that says how their bags are made. And it says one of our bags can take up to 50 different pieces or more, and 12 skillful artisans to construct, including leather specialists, pattern makers, seamstresses, edge painters, and many others. It is a process that requires patience and the utmost attention to detail. Each style is crafted using local techniques and traditions, many of which have been followed for hundreds of years, making each bag a piece of art. In a world where cheap production is the norm, at Demillier, we want to treasure and support the artisanal processes that we believe a luxury should stand for. So like I said, I was super, super intrigued. And uh, the founder, I believe she started a uh, handbag line, if I'm not mistaken, in 2010, and then she revamped it and relaunched it as Demillier in 2017. So as I mentioned previously, it has been around for a little while. And um, their bags are actually available on uh, Saks Fifth Avenue, Neiman's, Farfetch, and I want to say Harrods if I'm not mistaken, but please don't quote me on it. All right, so let's get into the bones of this unboxing, shall we? Here it is in the box that it came in. As you can see, it is still sealed. Like I said, we're going to be doing this together. Uh, so I'm actually going to prop it over here and uh, yeah, let's, let's get into it. Hang on. I am an idiot. I am having a major space cadet moment. Obviously, I cannot open this box to save my life. Like how, <laughs> how embarrassing is this, right? All right, here we go. This is what we got going on. So at the very top, it says a bag, a life. For every item you purchase, we fund a set of life-saving vaccines and treatments aimed to save the life of a child in need. I absolutely love that. But check out this packaging. Holy cow. So it came in a bag as well that says Demillier, London. And there's a little note up here. Hang on. I mean, look at the, how cute is this? All right, we all know how I feel about packaging and they have definitely knocked it out of the park. I, I love this. Absolutely love it. All right, so there's a little note attached. Just a moment. <laughs> I am the worst at true unboxings, aren't I? Uh, all right, so it says, Dear Minnie, we hope that you love our Midi Montreal, which that's the bag that I chose, and uh, it becomes a staple in your wardrobe. Thank you for your support. So happy to have you in the Demillier family. With love, the Demillier team. So there we go. All right. First look in there, you can't really see because it's black, but it is in a black dust bag and it has this little guy that says, thank you for choosing Demillier. 
on. It talks a little bit more about uh, the uh, the the about the vaccines. It also talks about ethically and sustainably made. All Demilie pieces are ethically made in our trusted factories in Italy and Spain using the finest sustainably sourced materials. All of our leathers are a byproduct of the food industry and would otherwise that would otherwise go to waste and are responsibly sourced mainly from Europe, USA, and Australia, with the majority being top rated gold or silver by the Leather Working Group. Uh, empowering women. Okay. All right. And here is the dust bag, and it says Demilier London. I like this dust bag, it's a little thick, and this feels like a little ribbon, as far as the, the drawstring of, the, of that. All right, holy cow. All right, so as you guys uh, saw when I read it on the little card, I chose the Midi Montreal, and this is in the smooth taupe leather with the gold hardware. Uh, upon first impression, it smells fantastic. And you guys know I am a leather sniffer, a proud leather sniffer. It smells absolutely amazing. I thought it would be heavier. It's actually pretty lightweight. Um, yeah, I, I kind of expected it to be a little bit a little bit heavier, but you have stickers all along the hardware. There's a sticker on uh, on this hardware here, and then you have two little uh, D rings on the back, top handle bag. Now, as far as opening this bad boy, you just kind of have the push slot closure, and it opens up like so. There we go. So it does come with a removable, is it adjustable? Yes, a removable adjustable strap that you can use for crossbody or as a shoulder bag. And all of the hardware, except for the these clasps, all of these little rivets here have Demilier uh, engraved on the hardware there. It's really soft, it's really, really soft. All right, let's take this out. And there is the bag. I will put the measurements of this bag on the screen right here so you guys can um, have a little bit more information. So on the inside, you do have a, uh, you have black fabric. You have one slip pocket, one zippered compartment here. Hold on, there's more. And then just one open compartment there. I really, really liked the silhouette of this bag. And it has leather care instructions, made in Spain. Exterior, 100% leather, smooth grain, cowhide leather, lining 100% cotton. There we go. And it says Demilier London. So it's just an open compartment. I, like I said, I really like the silhouette of this bag. It kind of reminded me of the Chanel Coco handle, and I'm actually gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison. Um, but let me, let me take a gander. And the varnish looks great. It looks, it looks amazing. It is a beautiful, beautiful color. And there is not a stitch out of place. The varnish looks amazing, like I said. I really, is it, does it have it anywhere? So if they are made in Spain or Italy, I really would have liked it to say Demilier, like made in Spain or made in Italy, uh, but it just says Demilier London there. That's just one thing, um, you know, that's, that's my own preference. But I really like how open it is. I really like that it looks like you can see everything at a glance. You have four feet along the bottom. Let me just close it up so you guys can kind of, there we go. Easy to close. I love, love, love the silhouette. The other, uh, the other bag that uh, I was looking at was the Vancouver, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, they had it in this beautiful cobalt blue, and you guys know how I've been feeling about cobalt blue. So that was that was uh, that was gone. And then they also had the Vancouver in the pebbled black leather, and that one was also gone. And then, like I said, this was my third runner up because I really like the silhouette. I really like the top handle uh, style, but. What do we think? Upon first impression, what do you guys think? I really like the size because it's not an itty bitty bag. I would say that this is more on the medium size. 
Um, and I do have a few other Montreals to, to choose from. Let me add the strap on here so you guys have a better idea of what, of what it looks like. I will also include a mod shot so you guys can see what it looks like on my, on my body frame. But there we go. So how many adjustments does it have? It has one, two, three, four, five, six different adjustments. So you have a lot of play. You know, I don't really like it when some bags have one or two adjustments because it really limits how much you can play around with the bag. But the fact that you can remove it all together, if you wanted to add a chain the way I would, uh, it really gives you a little bit more versatility. So I think that's amazing. I think that this bag, as I mentioned previously, looks very similar to the Chanel Coco handle. So let me get, let me get those really quickly so I can do a really quick size comparison. Here it is next to the mini cocoa handle. All right, and I also brought out the small. Very, very similar. There we go. These little, these little rivets here and the little opening kind of remind me of Lueve. I wish these would have had Demilier on them. These don't feel as, as heavy duty as these do. That's one thing that, um, that I noticed. These guys feel a little bit heavier duty than this clasp there. But I really wish that they would have had Demilier on there as well. Again, these are just, you know, my just my two cents. But I think that it is a beautiful, beautiful bag. I cannot wait to start using it. And I mean, I've seen so many videos on this brand. I've seen so many videos on their bags and the Vancouver is definitely their best seller. Uh, and I hadn't seen too many videos on this bag. So that's another reason why I really wanted to go for it. Um, and it does have, I just saw a YKK zipper there. I, I love this. I absolutely love this. This is gorgeous. And I don't think it's too dressed up either. You guys know I'm a very casual dresser. Uh, I think that this would be perfect with a pair of jeans or if you wanted to dress it up. Uh, and if you have a date later on in the evening or what have you, I think that it would transition very nicely from day to night without any problems. But I think that this is absolutely gorgeous. And like I said before, uh, you can either go on their website and uh, buy the items there, or you can go through Neiman's, you can go through Saks, you can go through Farfetch. I think there are a few other retailers, but please don't quote me on it. Another thing that I wanted to uh, to talk about is a few more things that, as for, like when it comes to purchasing directly from them, they have free shipping and free returns. All right, free shipping and free returns. I think that that is amazing, especially because if you don't have the possibility to try out a bag, if it's not if it's not at your local retailer or what have you, uh, I think I think it's wonderful when companies offer free returns just in case that person, you know, the bag wasn't what they were expecting. Uh, so the fact that they do have free shipping and returns, I think, is absolutely fantastic. Luxury packaging, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Are you ready for this? lifetime repairs, lifetime repairs. Now I'm sure there are uh, some, uh, some details as far as what, what, you know, what's considered the, that they can repair for lifetime repairs, but still the fact that they have lifetime repairs, I think speaks volumes of a company ethically and sustainably made, we give back. It also says duties included in the price. Get it in one to two days with express delivery as long as you order by 1 p.m. Uh, it also says as far as delivery time in the UK, it's one to three business days. All of Europe is standard two to five business days. Express is one to two business days. US and Canada standard is two to four business days or express one to three and the rest of the world is two to five business days. Uh, all import taxes and duties to all the countries we ship are included in the prices. No additional charges on arrival.
also wanted to include a quick um, a quick shot of what you can end up fitting in here. I'll put it right along here so you guys can see my daily essentials and what I like to carry because I do think that it is pretty spacious. And again, the fact that it has a little bit more give I think is wonderful. The fact that it's not this stiff leather by any means whatsoever. Let me actually peel off this, this, um, this guy here. Oh my gosh, because the hardware looks even more amazing now that I'm trying to peel off these little stickers. Let me actually take off the stickers on the bottom so you guys can see the feet a little bit better. And uh, the feet do not have Demelier engraved on them. It only looks like they have Demelier engraved on the rivets on the strap that I showed you guys earlier. Otherwise, it is just the uh, the gold hardware. And one other thing that I wanted to mention is this closure. This closure looks like it's really secure. It doesn't look like it has a mind of its own. It doesn't look like it's just going to pop open, you know, randomly or anything along those lines. But I also like the the fact that with a little push of a boop, it opens up. So it doesn't look fussy. It doesn't look like I'm going to struggle with it because there are some bags that have this type of closure that uh, can be pretty fussy when you go to open or close them. So I really do like that. Look at that. Very easy to open up. And even if I push on these little wings here, it doesn't look like it's going to open up or anything along those lines. So I, I love it. And this hardware, the color is just absolutely gorgeous. Shiny, shiny gold hardware. And that makes my magpie heart insanely happy. What do we think? What do we think about this bag? For me personally, I am super stoked about it. I can't wait to start using it. And as far as the brand, I am insanely impressed. I love their story. I love what they're doing. Uh, and I really love the quality of their products just based on this item. Of course, I haven't used it and I don't have any others in my collection either. But just on my first impression, I really love the quality and the prices that they have, uh, they are not, they don't break the bank and you're still getting good, a good quality bag that is absolutely gorgeous. And they have so many different silhouettes to choose from. If you want something a little bit boxier, if you want something a little bit easier to carry, they have totes, they have clutches, what have you. They have so many different items uh, to, uh, to pick from and different items that you can incorporate into your wardrobe very, very easily. But I love the colors that many of their items are available in as well. They also have seasonal colors, uh, and right now they do have this beautiful green and this beautiful pink, and again, paired with the gold hardware, I think it is absolutely beautiful. But this bag, I, th I think it's gorgeous. I love the structure. You guys know how I feel about a good structured bag. Uh, I love the color. I like the fact that it's a cooler taupe instead of a warmer taupe. I love the color of the hardware. I like how shiny it is, and uh, I also think that this leather is fantastic uh, because I really thought that it might be a little bit stiffer um, and I thought it was going to be a little bit shinier but even though it does have some stiffness just because of the structure it also has a little bit of give which I think is great it smells amazing I just I think it's I think it's absolutely beautiful and I really like how lightweight it is so that way if you wanted to use this bag for extended periods of time when you pair it with the strap that it comes with I don't think that it's going to be an uncomfortable bag to use for for long periods. Again, I have not used it, so I wouldn't be able to, to let you guys know as of right now. Uh, but um, yeah, and the fact that you have a little bit more versatility, if you wanted to take off the strap and use it as a hand carry bag or on the crook of your arm, even though this top handle here isn't very generous in my opinion, I think it might be uncomfortable to use it that way. Uh, but you can add a chain, you can add a different strap or what have you, just to give it a little bit more personality or whatever you want to, to carry for that day. And I also like the size that it has because it's it's not an itty bitty bag and you can still see everything at a glance. So I think that this bag has a whole lot of pros. I like the fact that they offer free returns and free shipping and the whole lifetime uh, repairs. Um, I think I think that's awesome. I think that's absolutely amazing. So I am, I'm impressed. I'm definitely impressed. And the packaging is just like the cherry on top because we all know how I feel about good packaging and they definitely knocked it out of the park, like I said before. But yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I'm stoked and I can't wait to use it and I can't wait to let you guys know uh, how it's working out for me and um, I'll definitely keep you guys posted. But anywho, that does it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure and give it a thumbs up. And I would love to know if you guys have any Demelier bags in your collection. If you do, let us know in the comment section down below. Or if there are some bags that you are thinking about, let us know that as well. But I also wanted to say a huge, huge thank you to the entire team at Demelier for sending me this bag. And like I said before, 
They did not request a video. They did not ask for anything. They just said, hey, we want to send you a bag. Let us know what you think. And uh, I wanted to, I definitely want to do this, uh, this, uh, this unboxing so you guys can see what to expect if you were to buy something from this brand. But I'm stoked. I'm absolutely stoked. But anywho, that does it for this video. I love you guys to the moon and back. If you enjoyed it, make sure and give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day.